Hi Tea Quilters, it's T and I am at retreat. Today is Friday, February 14th. It's actually Valentine's Day, so happy belated Valentine's Day to you all by the time you see this video. retreat since 10 o'clock this morning and it is now 8 20 p.m. so let me just show you a quick sweep of the room and then I'll tell you a little bit of what my day has been like so up here we already have some show-and-tell on the stage and of course we'll have show-and-tell at the end of this video but I just thought that I would share some of the room with you some of the people are outside of the room <laughs> and this is not the room that Tea Quilts Retreat is in. This room is booked and we are actually downstairs so I'm hoping that at some point I might can see it. It's also booked so people have been in there as well. Um, what have I been doing? I actually have my station here. I am actually quilting putting binding not quilting I'm putting binding on the charity quilts I have done two I'm working on my third one this is my quilt here that has binding that needs to be hand sewed somebody else is working on that quilt and so I showed it to them but this is my work area just crowded and junky as it always is I start pulling stuff out the bag and people come want to see parts of it and so this is what I end up with <laughs> but this is my work area those are the two quilts in there that I have already done the binding on. I'm hoping when I get all four of them done, I'll lay them out so I can just take pictures so you all know that they're done. And we've got my table mate this time is Carol. And let's go see if we can do a walking round of some projects if we see really exciting. This is Vicky's hands. She's ripping. <laughs> <laughs> Some beautiful fabrics here. It's just kind of nice to have the hum of your machine. Kathy loves Hi, Halloween. <laughs> That's Kathy. Lover of Center. <laughs> Halloween quotes. Hello, tea friends. <laughs> this I is know, Laura. <laughs> we had the same birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and she's quilting. Wow. I am quilting. This so you, is this is a different quilting. one, right? Yes. Okay. I was yeah, getting ready to say, zipper. girl. I finished the zipper top. So I thought you. I was like, you had time to get it basted. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Got Judy here. Fine. What are you working on? Oh, the other scrap club project. Scrap club project. Very nice. Are you gonna make it scrappy? Okay, yes, it's gonna be yeah. pretty. I like it scrappy. I had these. I had these, um, these are some of her fabrics here. Um, fit quarters that my secret sister gave me last year at retreat. There was a whole bundle of them. And I hadn't figured out what to do with them. But, and I still have plenty to do more, you know, but I just decided I would cut my colors and my. Yes. You know, my lights out of that. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a lot of white. Um, I, a lot of different whites and no lights. I have no idea how it will wind up looking, but we we'll find out. It's going to be pretty because the scrappy ones that we saw looked a whole lot better the scrappier they were. So with the scrappy lights, it's going to be I've pretty got, cool. I've got nine different colors. Mm -hmm. This this way of making it, you know, fair, or, you know, is it's not any faster than if you were doing them I don't think but I think they're better proportioned and truer. Okay. So you like the technique? Yeah. It, it, it drives me crazy how long it takes just to but then you've got this whole pile of eighteen when you get done. <laughs> and I think that um, one of the things I've always had trouble with 
triangular. He's getting true triangles. They often I, they're a little bit wonky toward the end. Okay. Part of it, it's this machine. It tends to kind of let things run off on the okay. way to the end of the line if you're not careful. And I so this technique worked for that. This technique, I think my triangles are a lot more uniform. And That's pretty cool. So it's worth it to do that. <laughs> on this tonight and then I'm going to work on the project tomorrow. Okay. It's and pretty we'll cool. see. I've had a few misgivings. It's like most of the ones people did were with brighter colors. And these are kind of... They'll just be a softer kind of soft. feel. Mm -hmm. Mine's was soft. It's just that I didn't make it scrappy. And then I didn't like it because I'm, I'm a scrap quilter. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so I regretted that immensely. Yeah, we'll but see yeah, we'll see, see how it turns out. out. We'll be seeing it in Scrap Club review. Yep. She's got a giant block there. What are you it's working on? It's gonna be a pillow. A pillow. Very so nice. Go with the quilt that I made. And then we've got some <laughs> Anita. Bruce uh, Grossman Solomon. She's working on the Arrowhead quilt blocks. I think that's the name of that one. I've started some of them blocks and never finished it. So that's oh, that's Bruce. And then what? Elsie, what are you working on? What project? Oh, you're working on the the cover. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I love your pinwheel block over there. Gail's got some Asian fabric she's working Asian with. Asian prints. And wow. It's going to be, um, set on point. Oh wow. Yes. Very sashing. nice. And I didn't have a pattern, so I'm kind of working out exactly how the sashing goes as I go along. Very nice. Beautiful. Thank you. Love it. Sharon D is here and she is not in a room right now but that's her project over there we've got Becky who's also working on the cover we've got Miss Jane Coons what are you working on your project for tonight this one is the uh, block of the month from Quilting Fine this past year. Okay. It's called something like Tiptoe Through the Tulips or something. Very nice. I do like it with the optional block and the fact that it doesn't even meet up. Right. I love they that even better. Mm-hmm. Very I nice. I wasn't going to do it this year, but since I was born in the Netherlands, <laughs> tulips, I decided to stay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Floral. This is Shan uh, Sue. She's trying to figure out who made these Kathy, optional blocks she wanted. Kathy Parks wrecking. Oh. You okay? She knew hers right away. <laughs> Becky knew hers right away. So we've got a couple. Okay, they pretty cool. Awesome. That's it. <laughs> they were supposed to um, make it. Angela, their what are, oh, Angela's got her projects wrapped up. Are you finished with your top already? Yes. Good. Wow, this that's fast. My hand work. This oh, wow. I love the fabrics. Oh my gosh, English paper piecing, guys. Uh, uh, Just gorgeous. What they call it, a nose gay? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. So Just I'm gorgeous. The green one. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Thank you. How long did that take you? Oh, I've been working on it several months. Okay, because I said it takes, I've done it and it just yeah, takes so long. It's like I could do them set in seams a whole lot quicker than I can hand sew them. But I don't stay on it all the time. Very nice. <laughs> Look at Rita's chair. <laughs> If you all have not seen Rita's studio tour, you need to go watch. Just search T Quilts, Rita's Quilt Studio on Tour. And she has this beautiful wooden chair here. Is this another one of your finds? No, my friend bought it for me. Okay, that is really neat. Thank you. <laughs> 
same quilt top y'all working on here? Yep, we're the same as my sister. Very nice. So turning 20. Oh, it's turning 20. Okay, and it's a nice way. That's what's so different about it, because Tim Holtz used to only do scrapbooking paper stuff, and now he's in the fabric, huh? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome sauce. Yes, baby. And That's so pretty cool. Look, since it's so beautiful, red little one inch, and then the border gets pieced. And it does look like paper, it like does, collage paper. He, yeah, I didn't even catch it over there. It's a, we got the same. Very nice. Same. I'm gonna have to find me some. Where you get that fabric from? Tiny Stitches. You've had it a long time. Just last year, uh, Tiny Stitches up Okay, I'm going to look up and see if Tim holds fabric and see what pops up. That's okay. This lady here is always working on a challenge. Right now she's doing Priscilla's Rocky Road to Kansas Block, but she's also cutting one of those, what do you call those? Kaleidoscope type quilts? What are they called? What? That Judy other Niemeyer. It's a Judy Valley Niemeyer. Valley wedding ring. Valley wet wedding ring. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you. But she always is for a challenge, does beautiful, beautiful work. Miss Viola's over here. Y'all seen her in some of my quilt show videos. <laughs> She's working on the Deal. cover for the sewing machine. This is her pocket. Let me turn this way so we can see it the right way. Sorry, Viola, I hit you in the head. No problem. Um, very nice. And she's using this fabric. I haven't seen this either, this ruler in different colors. Very nice. Normally they're all kind of muted or not as many colors. Right. Very nice. Another prolific sewer over here. She'll have about 15 projects before she leaves. Kathy is, <laughs> is fast. <laughs> How are you? Just showing them what people are working on. Uh, right now I'm working on Hill Country. Okay. Because when we do show and tell, they'll ask me, what's that pattern? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> they, can, they can do their own investigating. <laughs> Well, thank you. Pretty cool. Did you do the cover for the machine yet? Okay, no, you're not working on that one? Look like Lenore's doing the machine cover. <laughs> Lenore is the retreat chairperson. She's in charge and she has been busy working, so I'm glad to see she's here sewing now. <laughs> She's been the hostess with the mostest. The hostess with the mostest, right. <laughs> yes, she... Everybody's happy with you. Yes, and you've done a wonderful job. You've Thank chatted you. with everybody. <laughs> this is Vicki. We saw her ripping before. We don't want to see her anymore. <laughs> Next, we've got Kim... Who is that? Deal. 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 Simple Graces. Yes. So people will ask me, what pattern is that? I'm like, I don't know. So that's really cool. That's still one of my favorites. You've been working on this one for a couple of years. I've a couple of retreats. The, I've had all the blocks made for two years now, and I'm okay. finding time to put it together. Okay. Very nice. I like it. I'll be glad to see when it's done. Yeah, I do well, like hopefully that. Hopefully I will get it done at the retreat. So. Very nice. Thank you. I had to skip this lady here. Got Miss Jennifer. Are you doing the cover? Yes, I am. Wow. Um, more uh, <laughs> Southwestern? Is that what you call it? Yes, Southwestern. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get it right. <laughs> Especially since I'm slap happy, I'm ready to take a nap so bad. <laughs> but very nice. I love it. You, you had no, I don't do caffeine. That would just put me to the ceiling. <laughs> very nice. And your pockets, are you putting pockets on? Nope. Because I didn't think you would want to cover this up. Very nice. No, it's really long. Very nice. Judy, you have your project out, which you're working on? Well, I started four patches. your quilt for uh, the year-long project for Scrap Club. Which one? We got so many. The ones that... Oh, the, the oh, ones. actual mine. Yeah. <laughs> 
the one that's the Christmas strings and yeah. four patches. Obviously so she's working on the four good. patches. Right, and that's, that's what I said when I wrote the pattern. It's like you don't have to, but in those batiks, just gorgeous. They are. And I love the, the purple thrown in here There's and there. more purple than I remember cutting. But. Wow, beautiful. Just gorgeous. This on the ground here is Sue's project that we saw on the other side of the room. She's piecing one of those crisscross flannel quilts that I showed you all mine. Um, I did bring mine today too because I'm going to hopefully work on a binding at some point in this weekend. If not, it'll get done at some point. And we've got Teresa <laughs> just seeing what people are working on. So oh, very is, nice. This is, I don't want to walk in front of you, but this is the scrap club. This is the, um, the Bonnie Hunter, the Carolina Chain. Oh, well, that's how it's pieced that uh, starts out. Okay, very yeah. nice. So instead of though, she did it with blocks, like these are sort of coordinated mm -hmm. in the little box. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm doing is I'm just using random scraps throughout and then just using muslin as the background everywhere. Okay. That way I can use up all my other scraps. Very nice. Um, and the muslin will ground all your other yeah, colors that yeah. don't match. So mm -hmm. I'm just working on the Wow, and you are pretty box. you're pretty far in too. Pretty good. Well, I mean considering yeah. I haven't started any of the projects for this year yet. <laughs> pretty yeah. good job. Well, I had actually found in my stash um all of these squares that were, I think we had done a like a watercolor mm -hmm. and they were left over from that. And then when Beverly died and they were, I had picked up some of these packets of squares mm -hmm. and they just happened to be the right size. Okay. So I didn't need to um, do really many of the squares. So all I was cutting out were the rectangles primarily For your muscles, and yes. this is a um i love my um that's a marty, marty michelle, michelle template mm -hmm. yeah and so it's a c19 and an a5 okay so i just went through all of my scraps and cut out as many c19s as i could very and nice. if there was some scrap left over i did a few a5s but anyway very nice so it's gorgeous i love it i can't wait to see it put together teresa Thank you. Beautiful job. Thanks for sharing it. This is Sue's spot. <laughs> I had to think about who's missing. Miss Norma has the scrap, um, the tease quilts, birthday quilts. That's one of the quilts up there. She put the borders on it today at retreat, and now she's work working on the Hoffman Challenge. This lady is singing to herself as she hand sewed the binding on her machine cover. <laughs> what you say? Ooh, love, peace, love, and harmony. You don't have me on camera, I know. <laughs> No, I'm not live. Oh, okay. But I just wanted to, if I could just see a little bit of your project. She's working on a blues quilt. This is Grace. And it's really pretty. She also is coordinating the Friday night project with the machine covers, but very beautiful. Those stars are so vibrant. Love it. And she's finished. She showed us this in a couple pieces. She's came and put her binding on it and got it done. Very nice. Show how simple it is. <laughs> Very nice. The hardest like part is the pockets. Yeah. Deciding what you want. Keep it going. So, we've got Carol here. She's actually working on my pattern, the exploding star. She's got some of the stars here, but it's a whole lot more complicated than that. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> And Carol's also had issues with her machine, so she's a good trooper. She's trying to keep going. 
dealing with the punches. So we're gonna take her machine back to the shop tomorrow. And then let me just show you what we got as door prizes. I haven't even looked at it. Um, this here uh, is a keychain, and then they opened it and put the fabric in here, or they put the fabric in there. Very nice. I got. I have a have a magical day. We actually got a Valentine's gift was laying on all the tables when we came in got candy in it that's really cute this is an armrest for your mouse it's pretty cool I haven't even been in here guys so it says compliments of Wonder Bread it's a sewing kit now I have not been in this bag, so it's all a surprise to everyone. Looks like it's two of those. Still got Sarah singing in the background. It says the Tootsie Tool. And then I'm just going to let you read that. <laughs> you can Flower Valley Quilting Guild, established 1985. And let me... Put this camera down so I can see what that is. Whoops. If I can't concentrate before, maybe I can finish this at the so so busy retreat. This one. Ah. <laughs> so we actually have the mints in here. In some ways, it's harder by reducing the range of fabric section too. Another sewing kit. And never have I ever sewing edition. I'm gonna put that there so you can pause and read. And then we have justifications for buying more fabric. You can pause that and read. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And then it's just got the quilters codes here. And then I've got this card here. And then it is sewing needles, hand sewing needles. And then it also came in this nice basket. So all of that was from the retreat committee. The one last thing that was in the basket is in this bag. Slide some of this out. Somebody stamped butterflies on the bag. And then inside the bag is It's like a fat quarter and this is the one that I got I'm sure they were all different fat quarters and I don't think there was anything else in the bag yes yeah, so that's it so that's our retreat loot and so I will continue making quilts or sewing binding on quilts and then I will come back with you tomorrow or even later tonight maybe we'll see <laughs> hi guys it's T and the time is 12 30 and I'm actually gonna do something I have never done at a retreat before I'm gonna go to bed early <laughs> yes I am tired it's been a long day it's been a long week and I have decided that I'm gonna go try to go to sleep, maybe read a little bit. If I'm up there for more than an hour still awake, maybe I will come back down. But for right now, I'm gonna call it a night. So I will see you in the morning. Oh, and by the way, I did get my third quilt top. Well, quilt with the binding on it. So I have one more to do in the morning. See you tomorrow, or rather later today. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's T, and I'm in my room, and I'm actually standing with my back to the door. And I just wanted to show you the room uh, because I told you that I would show you the room of the Mercy Retreat Center. This room is a little different than some of the others, and I'm not sure if it's all going to be this way. But most of them have an area where you can store your clothing so you have drawers here and then you can also have a wardrobe here 
and then also shelving here but in some of the units you have this and then the bathroom would be through this wall here and then you have a walk-in closet however this is the door where I was just standing have a mirror and then the bathroom is on the other side and has handicap rails for you to pull up has a towel bar depending on how many people are in the room you'll get one set of tiles for the entire stay so if you want more tiles you may want to bring towels this one has a medicine cabinet and also a step-in shower not a walk-in but it's a little step over but it's more of a handicap shower and it has a handicap rail and it also has the mat to go on the floor so this is how the shower looks has um soap in there as well as they had a bar of soap here with cup for mouthwash if you need or water in the middle of the night whatever but um then you walk into the sleeping area you have a twin bed here that has a low headboard nightstand table rocking chairs over there now sometimes the rooms just have two beds with the table in between and that's it two twin beds so this room is configured a little different where it has a twin bed right here which i took the cover off and over here is a queen bed but it does not have a headboard and then with an additional table and another rocker here so I don't really think that they have single rooms. I think they just assign you to single rooms and then you just pay for having the entire room. But, so I just wanted to make sure that I showed the bedroom. It is actually one o'clock in the morning and so we're not gonna be able to see out the windows. We, I'm not ever in my room throughout the day. I mostly come in my room about 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. mostly because I'm back up sewing. But this is an exception today i decided to go to bed early so i'll come back to you later today with more retreat activities hi guys second day at retreat i haven't done any video taping thus far and i have just it's about let's see 1 p.m <laughs> and we just had lunch so i just wanted to come on and show you that some of the people are working on a project miss cynthia right there she's the presenter and this is the actual project that we're working on this weekend and i tell you what i'll do is i haven't started this project yet but what i will do is i will do a video on this quilt top so that way if you want to make one you can make one too and then we've got some more show and tell added on top of the stage and then these ladies know that it is saturday afternoon and they are trying to get everything in that they can get in before they kick us out tomorrow morning <laughs> so busy little bees and she is actually working on a bee quilt <laughs> Unintended. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Got a couple of arm stations. I think some of the girls that attend bring their big boards somebody brought an ironing board the pretty coloring here it looks like water look like ocean beach hey Vicky <laughs> she grinds from the cameras <laughs> Oh, okay. But this jelly roll had uh, rust and orange with it, and I had to add some because I didn't want to put those in. But 
So I had to make half things on some of Jennifer's quilting her fish quilt. The continuing saga. <laughs> because she's doing intricate quilting on a sewing machine. So look at all this detail in the fish. She's doing a beautiful job and then like swirls in the background, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Smile, you're on candid camera. I'm Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, why the camera's on, okay. <laughs> Here is your <laughs> scrap that I retrieved for you. I thank you very kindly. And I will come back and chat with you guys later. I'm going to take just a little bit of the food bar for you. So this is what we're having for Saturday night's dinner. Got all the salad fixings here. Then I'll pause and show you the next area. So we've got green beans, mashed potatoes, fried chicken, and either muscatelli or lasagna down there. It's actually lasagna. So. so if you all haven't figured it out by now, I'm actually going down as I'm fixing my plate. But sometimes they'll have this refrigerator where you can get breads and buttons and things. They've got a microwave, some jelly up on top toaster, ice cream here for dessert today, they got uh, chef soup, southwest, vegan southwest soup, and dessert here, you all know that I don't know a whole lot about desserts because I just don't eat them, and then they sometimes have fruits here, and then in the morning we also have a cereal area, so that way you'll know some of the things to expect when you're coming here. All right, so I've eaten now and I just want to do the last part of this cafeteria so you can see where you're eating. They have juice and milk in here. They've got the coffee bar here. And then they have decaf and regular coffee. And I don't know where you get hot water here. We do have hot water by our conference room on the outside. I'll show you that. This is ice and water, and then they'll bring out lemons. And then this is the actual seating area here. So I will try to see if I can walk down, show you a little bit of the hall, and see if I can just look into the round room maybe. Right here is where we actually get our dishes before we go up to the buffet there. <laughs> my, group, my group is really interested in knowing what the facility looked like now that they're coming. <laughs> and you know, I've done so many videos here that I don't know which one to refer them to. So I told them to, I'll make sure I do it at this one. Yes. Got a lounge area here. Today we're here with a group that's doing a silent retreat. So we've kind of remodified our meal time so that we're not in the cafeteria at the same time as they are. And then we're on the bottom floor and we would actually go through these doors here that are closed. And they're actually in there because I see their shoes right there. So I can't go in there and show you this room at all, but they're doing meditation for the most part. For, and they're here for five days, so. Do have an elevator here, right there. I'm going to go up these steps so I can just show you the entryway. When you enter, and I'm not going to get up close on this book so I don't show people's information, but on this table, they have everybody that's here for a visit, 
and you have to sign yourself in. So in case of an emergency, they know who was all in the facility. And then up here is the entrance to the facility up here. So now my retreat is being held upstairs in the room we're in right here is not available for our retreat. That's why we're meeting downstairs. Okay, so I just walked through the chapel and I'm not sure if that actually videotaped or not, but we have to walk through the chapel, come into the back, <laughs> and then we have a table, well actually two tables where we've brought our own snacks here and there. <laughs> we got a refrigerator with drinks in it. Look like they're asking for money for that. It's on a cup inside. And then we've also got our own coffee makers here. Got hot water on these. And I, I didn't see the hot water on the one up front. And then they give you all of these supplies. So it's in, well they charge you a fee per person for this service, but it's automatic for any conference. And then our room. So. And I'm actually recording on my phone now. I'm in my work area and I have actually made a tote to hold my cutting plates for my Gemini. See this bag right here? It'll hold one set of plates very tight. And I wanted a bag that would hold my plates, like two sets of plates. So I have like a two inch bottom on this to make it really wide so that when I put two sets of plates in here I've got a lot more room so I'll just show you with that sitting on top they're about the same size this is about a half inch wider which I didn't need the width I just needed it to have a bottom base to put more stuff in so I've made that and now I am actually in the process of making more of these books here. So I'm cutting, doing four at a time, <laughs> trying to um, consolidate the task and hoping it will go faster. So this book here, I have my left sides all done. And right here, I need to work on the right side. So that's it for now. See you with another update. Hi, it's T, and this is our final day of retreat, and it is Sunday about 9.30 a.m., and we are going to have show and tell in a little bit, but I thought I could just come show you. I am actually in the process of cleaning up my workstation, which actually doesn't look like it, <laughs> but I have been paper crafting I think I mentioned in the last clip so yeah I'm gonna keep some of that out until I leave packing up food items I brought personal bag these are the four quilt tops that I bound I'm gonna use those for show and tell clothing bag and I also sometimes will stick since I'm paper crafting, I stuck 12 by 12 paper in there because it's big enough. So I'm getting packed up here. Projects in there, sewing machine, and this stuff here is show and tell as well. This is my table, sewing machine's been put up. So yes, <laughs> I'll come back when we are ready for show and tell. So that's part of a year-long 
project for Scrap Club. So it's a Bonnie Hunter, mm -hmm. and uh, it's half light blocks and half dark blocks. But it's all based on like a two inch square and a, and a rectangle. And she did color coordinated blocks, but I didn't have enough light. So I'm just using muslin for all of the light. And then anything with any color is automatically a dark. So anyway. Very cool. Very cool. I was working on the Friday night project. Yeah. I mean, I was. You have to stand where the crack of the door is, right? Oh, where the crack of the door is. Okay. There you go. I didn't get much done. Uh, I wasn't going to do the project, and then I found because uh, I didn't want to spend any more money. I have so many unfinished projects, but. Um, Thursday, I was in a box looking for something else and found a jelly roll. I don't know where I got it, when I got it, how I got it. I don't remember buying it. Maybe I wanted it, I don't know. But it's going to be very wild because there's no two fabrics that are the same. I'm looking around at people's that are so nice because... <laughs> Yours will be nice and you'll be Well, this, nice. is, this is going to be wild. I mean, I don't know how I'll put it together, but... Anyway, that's all I've gotten done this whole weekend. No, 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 no. You got to show Oh, I forgot. <laughs> this is why you spent the whole day working on it. That's right, I did. I put that... You have friends to help you out. That's right. This, well, see, I've got it pinned, and I don't know if we can get it open. Sure you can. Because that end is a mess now. Bye. You can just peel it up a little bit. Yeah. There, there, yeah. Okay. yeah. This was a scrap club. Yeah. Uh, and it was, uh, do you want what was the name? So Chris Krause flannel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cross, it's, well, that's it. <laughs> but none of us anyway. use flannels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none of yeah. us did flannel. But anyway, that's when, that was a long time ago? About 2015, maybe? Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm going through those boxes and have all these things. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, yeah, it's been so many scrap club. Uh, I'll know soon because i got to make a label for now. <laughs> I'm next. There's my project up hanging up there, the middle one. That is... Um, that's Whoops. some of the blocks that Tia and I got for her birthday party oh, last year. Oh, I'm so uh, all I got to do now is get it quilted. Okay. We should That's let it. you go up there. <laughs> That's okay. You can just go up there. That's all I have. <laughs> Project. However, Ooh, I, like that little I started this at home, got most of it done at home. Oh. So that's why this is completed. Otherwise, and it's hands, uh, the binding is hand stitched. Okay. Well, I like your little thread catcher on the <laughs> like end. That's cute. Oh, that's thank you. Sarah? That's Say again. Cute. I like your thread catcher. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I'm still working on this. This is the project, <clears throat> yesterday's project, and there, there's a lot of colors here. I found that I cut mine in half, and I have a lot of large waste. I don't call it waste, it's but not it's, waste. it's not That's waste, what but it's, and I will be cutting it out for the uh, border. So. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. I do want to show this. <clears throat> I laid it out. I started this years ago at Kate. Anybody remember Kate England? Mm -hmm. Who? I know who she is. <laughs> she had a project at the U City Library, and I was trying to get a board on this, and I haven't had a chance to complete that, but I was working on that. Mm -hmm. Didn't finish it either. That is fantastic. Okay. Tijuana Mahone, it's running itself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm only showing two of these. I put binding on four charity quilts. These quilt top here, the blocks were made again by the same people. I did a YouTube 
birthday block for charity clothes, and I thought I would receive maybe 200 blocks. I received enough to make 15 quilts. So Becky was nice enough to piece one, and then I quilted it and put the binding on this this weekend. So I've been, I put binding on four quilts, mm -hmm. and then I just want to show another one because one of my subscribers made an entire quilt top. I just had to quilt it. So she pieced this entire top. And it's helped it be turned the other way, but this is good enough for the photo. But again, I had four of these that I actually did binding for and took most of my weekend, but it was my goal to get them completed. So we're working on like, is it like 14 or 15 quilts from, the, from my YouTube subscribers that like blocks? I work on a project, but I also did most of my stitching at home, and I just used straight two pieces of fabric mostly. I just pieced this and put pockets all the way across instead of the, they look cute, but I didn't have time for the fancy stuff. <laughs> so then I just used HTV to put my name on it when it's at retreats and stuff, and then I also put it on the back side so it shows front and back. And I think it helps when you're at retreat sometimes, and especially a retreat where you don't know anybody, it just helps to have your name on the other side. <laughs> and then this bag here, I have a electronic die cutting paper machine. I do paper crafting as well. And this holds all the plates, and it holds exactly one set. So mm -hmm. I have two sets of plates because if they go bad, I need to have a backup, right? You can't get them at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I just made this quick bag here so that I could put two sets of plates in and then just put that bottom so it was wide enough for those two sets of plates. So just a little bit bigger than this, but I needed the width on the sides. What are the plates for? It's called a Gemini die cutting machine. Oh, okay. It's a paper crafting, yeah. but they also, you can cut fabric with it as well. And then... <laughs> I think I'm working on the project. I don't know yet if I'm gonna get them done. But I'm making uh, binders, photo albums. Sometimes I have difficulty with some scrapbooks where you put four by six photos in, which is what we normally print. And so I am actually making one completely from scratch, from the chipboard to the bindings and everything. And I made four of them, these four, I had this one done as a prototype and I made these four here at retreat. These two have all the papers in it and these are waiting for the printed papers that I'm going to show you in just a second. I'll just show you this one because it's completely done. But it's got front and back and then when it opens up it's got a magnetic closure here and then these flaps all come up and then this whole thing also flips over and then you also have pocket here for the surplus that you don't have room for. And then over here, you have this. I put two hearts I cut out of chipboard, and then I wrapped this twine around it for closure over here. Then I have up and down, and then it flips over and over again. Then it flips over, over again and one more time and it'll hold 24 photos so if you got like somebody had a wedding or something and you wanted to make you took pictures or baby showers things like that and then you've got the pocket here to slide any excess pictures or you can put notes and so then these these right here are place cards for the four by six photos and you'll have a little border around so they're great gifts too for people that don't craft all they got to do is just get some kind of double-sided tape and just take their photos in. But I've been, I'm working on that. We'll see if I complete the mission. <laughs> it takes a little while, but it's fun to do. It's very, it's, it's very, re when I have just the black pages, I'm going to show you just a blank one. It's not very interesting at all. <laughs> but you know, this is just the base. And then when I start print, putting the prints in, and you can make it for anything. And I'm just using paper, whatever I have at home, trying not to spend money on it, because I gotta make, I'm hoping I can make a lot of these, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. How much time do those take to make, do you want to yeah. look, That looks very time consuming. I started yesterday afternoon, I guess, cutting and what I didn't have because I only had made one I didn't write down all the sizes so when I 
made the sizes and I've learned to bulk cut. So if I have a paper pad, I cut that whole paper pad down for all the pieces that's needed and just cut random things and then I can pull from different parts. And I'm ready, I'm set up now to make the next two real easy. Just all I gotta do is glue the pages, they're already cut, no measuring. Ready to go. Is that your pattern or is it I saw like a YouTube video showing how to make bound books, and so then I went from there. You can find everything on YouTube. <laughs> I, I started out by working on little things, really little things, <laughs> okay. which that's all I got done, and it's and that's awesome. That's, that's, our, April, that's, that's our April fantastic. block, isn't it? Yeah. That's the middle of the April block, yeah. which I didn't read the instructions since the uh, I did it wrong. <laughs> cool. But it got done. Then uh, we had a pizza box exchange in our Civil War sewing circle, so I did, I'm going to do eight more blocks to enlarge it, and I worked on these two blocks. These are the wow. colors. The, the light is the background that was the focus fabric, and then this triangle is the other focus fabric, main fabrics. And then I decided I was going to do um, this. I started a long time ago, and I did um, the chip blocks. And I was going to try and put this together, but I realized <laughs> that the sashing in there makes a very directional. Mm visual oh. impact and mm -hmm. so to do the strips here I'm going to have to really do some fussy cutting and I didn't think this was the right place to try and fuss with the fussy cutting. <laughs> so this will be finished at home. I've got 12 of these blocks. Very nice. And then I also brought some material to cut for um, our Saturday night project to do a baby quilt do, mm -hmm. and in these soft gray and blue colors. It's for my neighbor who's going to pop March 4th, <laughs> so I gotta hurry. And their house is in grays. And then I got close to getting this done, but I don't have enough of the chips for my board, la um, third border. But the mm. fourth border, the last border, is going to be the button block. Beautiful. Yeah. Button, oh, cool. button fabric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that you like buttons. Not that I like buttons. There you go. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> or there it was. There it was. <laughs> At least I'll hold up that. that Very one. nice. Yeah. Hold it up. Thank hold you. it up. Thank you. And this all came from my stash. No jelly. Oh. Very nice. So she, so she really didn't run out of fabric. So you really didn't run out of fabric. I didn't. No, I have more of this at home. <laughs> this was the fabric, the, the colors that I pulled from. Okay. Very nice. Can you slide over a little bit? Yes, this. This is a, this is Oops, I didn't get all my threads off. But I finished it. I got all the pieces done. So <laughs> I did do the tie. I think I might put add some ties yet to this one. So and then um, I and this was hanging up my blues quilt. This is going to be for um, a auction. Well, it's a, a raffle basket type thing at my son's wrestling. Yeah. Well, St. Charles High Wrestling um, thing, and they always do a fundraiser, trivia night fundraiser. <laughs> so this is going to have to have this done by April 18th. So, so that'll go next on my machine to get quilted. And then um, my project yesterday, I didn't like the third border, the uh, fabric I brought for the third border didn't go once I put it all together. So I will be stopping at Jackman's or Quilted Fox on the way home. So I got everything but that. So it's kind of wintry, wintry quilt, snowmen and stuff. The blues, I love blues. So. And then um, I brought something that, if I still had time left, and I forget her name. Who was, who was um, Treasure before you? 
Judy Hexel. Judy Hexel, I can say Carol. She brought, one time I saw her kaleidoscope quilt, and I think she took Tia's class on it or something. She must have been before I came to the guild. Anyway, I fell in love with it. And so I always wanted to do one. So I've been working on this probably for about a year. And I, like, I'll pull out and I'll do a dozen, you know, triangles, whatever. But this is the fun, this is what it'll be like as back and when I, mm -hmm. you know, I had to get one row done so I could see what it was going to turn out. Mm -hmm. Stack and white, okay. And so the next one will offset these, you know. You guys all have done it before, but mm -hmm. there was this fabric I fell in love with. I didn't know what to do with it. I thought, oh, well, that'll work with this pretty good. So this yeah. is one of these years I'll bring it to show and tell, and we'll be finished. But <laughs> we got a ways to go yet. <laughs> well, that's it. Are all the blocks you need with a couple extra, but I didn't. Center. Center. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to make people stand there. Uh, I don't remember him to take pictures. Step, step back. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, you want to get the two, she kind of make them stand. Well, I have to go back. Anyway, um, the squares are now finished, ready to lay out. My jelly roll, I didn't use some of the colors because the other colorway in the um, and the jelly roll was rust, rusty orange, and I didn't want to put that with this. But Sharon had given me um, some jelly roll strips when she, when she was my secret quilter, and so I interspersed them with that, and I hope it'll work. Very nice. Um, we started the year-long project, and it, it's strips. Well. You have horizontal like strips, and then this goes all the way down in between. <laughs> <laughs> it will go down. <laughs> we had a little error in the in the directions, so we have to. We got kind of delayed there a little bit, but we're on our way now. My other thing is a tell, um, small world story. This lady that came in right when we're starting show and tell, she left a note on my on our door last night, and she goes, "I'm here for the silent retreat." And um, turns out she's the gal that I used to work with, you know, hmm. before I retired 12 years ago. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> and she actually made an X. It wasn't just a piece of tape. <laughs> when Judy stood, when Judy came forward, I said she's gonna bust a gasket. <laughs> I'm Jennifer. I made a sewing cover. I didn't put any pockets. Very nice. And, um, it was just a couple panels. I, I love had. the pottery. Beautiful. And, and then cactus. Cook it and added the ties onto. Very nice. And ethnic. So I know. Yeah. I didn't know what to do with it until got packing and it's like, oh, I can do that. Okay. This is a, I believe, a 2002 optional block I won. And it's been sitting around. And I finally finished quilting. Well, wow. Wow. Very um, nice. I originally was going to, I was thinking of giving it away as a baby quilt until I started quilting the fishes, mm -hmm. I said no. <laughs> so it's going to be mine. It's beautiful. Maybe if a grandkid comes around, but um, right now it's going to be for me. Thank you. Beautiful. Are you going to have it done for March? Oh, I don't know. I'll show it. She can still show it. And then I've had, I've done these blocks. I bought this pattern back in 2012, I believe. And I had all the blocks done, so I put it together here. And it's all flannel. It's beautiful. It's called Stars of Summer by Bonnie something. Sullivan, Bonnie Sullivan. So, yeah. I mean, this is what, some of the fabric. So I had to fussy cut the blocks out. Very nice. And then here was the border. So beautiful. Yeah. It feels like wool. It does feel like wool. I've never seen flannel. Those colors are 
Yeah. I mean, when I saw it in the coach shop hanging up, it's like, I gotta get it. <laughs> Just take me. Okay. All right. This well, obviously I bring something that I've been laying around for two years so I can finish it. Then I don't finish it and I go home and have to sew on it. Anyway, this was <laughs> this is from um, it, it's uh, Kim, Deal. Okay. Kim Deal Simple Pleasures book it was on the cover and uh, Beverly Pekowitz Pekowitz was in, yeah in our club and she made one and it was. She was a, a guest, not a guest, she was honored uh, quilter a couple of years ago at the quilt show. 2017? 17. Okay, and I, Jan Copeland had done the pattern and I bought the pattern and the thing. So anyway, it's in the book and I got the pattern, so that's what I started working on and I had the blocks done for <clears throat> year, year and a half, something like that. So now I was trying to get them all. I have to stand on the X, sweetie. Okay, and we'll do that. Thank you. You just for in letting me know. <laughs> you just in rebellion mode. I will not take your picture. So anyway, <laughs> this this is. Oh, Kathy is funny. You can't see them on yours. I just turn around. Want to back up? No, no, the X is good, sweetheart. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, I did the side side pieces, and now I'm building for the uh, long pieces. So, but that's all I've done. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. You and I'm enjoying the show and all of you guys. It's amazing what you guys are doing. Uh, what I'm going to show first is something I bought umpteen years ago when um, uh, Hancock was still in business in the St. Louis area. I did some of the blocks, the two I worked on that are still not completely clear at retreat is this one that should have windows and a door in it and those have to be okay. A. Okay. And I worked on this star and the center has to be added in it. <coughs> the Friday night project, I did the cover. I have not added the... Uh, yeah, hold it still. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. And I just used the solid on the inside. We got Richard bossing them around now. That's good. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, I attend the free quilt group at Jackman's, and one of the requests, um, one of the ladies, said Zucker, has requested quilts for Camp David, which is a camp for children of parents that are incarcerated. And so there are two sizes <coughs> that they request. They don't request anything fancy. So this is something I put together and we'll be working on to get to Deb before she needs them. What two sizes, do you remember? No, I don't. Uh, okay. It's in the newsletter though. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> And then this was my. I love that. Yesterday's project that is you, still. Kathy wants you on the X viola because she's panicking. Okay, I'll, I'll get there for about a time. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> my camera's fine. I do need to add additional borders to this. Beautiful. And the fabrics that I bought brought with me for borders I did not like. So, so I'll you be alternated for like you alternated fabric. two fabrics on the outside. Man. You did a strip yeah. same fabric. It's nice. Yes, it it's was beautiful. One of the, this was not the uh, border that I had intended, but with the uh, ro the jelly roll I had pieces left and they just happen to fit very well because they are part of the regular quilt. Very nice. Love it. 
So that's it for me. Triangles and squares. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. What's the pattern? Oh, God. Um, I have it in my thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know people will ask, what's the pattern when it's something different? You know what? We had a, we had a, so, and I enlarged like it. This. The pattern is for lap size. So I wanted it to be able to put it on my bed. And we had a display up at mm -hmm. Jackman's, and mm -hmm. the woman who made it, she said, This is, I call it Mr. Ugly. <laughs> and when she got it done, she liked it, but um, it was much darker fabrics, and okay. I'm not a darker. Very nice. Then we did, and I left my extras for the second border at home, so I have to finish my borders at home. Are you on the X? <laughs> What's that? She's behind the X. You're all right now. <laughs> 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 They're waiting on you to take a picture. They haven't gotten your picture. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's too this is so difficult, now. isn't it? <laughs> you have to get flustered. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking there because people are not see my scary. You don't get flustered. It's a picture. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she did another one. She's done so much while she's here. Wow. She's she's busy. Mm -hmm. She wasn't fooling around. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here at 12. Very nice. I like that one too. Friendship star. About how much they got done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do a lot of my prep work at home. Mm -hmm. Diane shouldn't have gotten anything done. Very nice. This pattern is in a uh, jelly roll uh, quilt. Okay. Book. Very nice. I like all this. It's like secondary and third <laughs> designs popping out. See the friendship star pinwheel block, the 16 patch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says she's got more. <laughs> Uh oh, she's sewing hexagons. Oh, it's be a table runner for my oh that's beautiful. Great idea too. This started at our Christmas party. We did a um, everybody brought four jelly ro or fat quarters, and supposedly we're going to do a thing where everybody has to make something with their fat quarters, and then we'll display it all. That's up in the air. <laughs> so when you see it in the shop and you have to vote on what you like. Remember that quote? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a great idea, so too, there, with the hexagon. Yeah, does everybody know you work for Jackins? I don't know. You know I think they do. The I, think I, think I, know that. I thought they did. So they're having a sale they know. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Coming the day when I'm not there. They have They're going to have tables of fatigues for five eighty-five. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And I'm going to try not to buy I know I work tomorrow night. Oh, okay. So let's come during the day when they first go. Well, that's what happens. Yeah, that, you know, take the tea table from the seat. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm Lenore, and here's my Friday night project. Very nice, too. Mm -hmm. And I love, my, I love my buttons that I bought at Hobby Lobby that so my can close with ponytail holders. Mm, very nice. Okay. Ta -da. Oops, it off, but it does close. <coughs> and then here is my C 
Saturday project. And again, thanks, thank you, Cindy and Grace, for teaching. We appreciate it. Yes. So here's my Saturday project. And you all know that I kept bringing this to the meeting, but I never did get the borders on until this weekend. So now my borders are on. I've got to finish quilt. Yay for me. Yay. Okay. Yay. And then I also have another finished quilt that I'm so excited about. And this quilt is in the CD that we gave you all. It's called Jelly Roll Drag Race. And I got the last border on while Sherry was talking. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. And this is, now, the only thing I caution, if you do this, they tell you to drag it so that the, those brown little, these little guys, are not close to each other. Well, I did that the first time and a little bit the second time, but you just don't even know where they're gonna end up. Right. So I didn't do it then after that because I looked at it, it looked like everything was good, but I guess you kind of have to drag it a lot if you want them to be separated. But anyway, I don't care, it's great. It's gonna be a gift for somebody so they can worry about it. So <laughs> anyway. Very nice. Well, thank you. The first retreat I ever came to, you teased me because I sat with Lenore. Do you remember that? And you said, oh, Lenore never gets anything done at retreat. Look at that. <laughs> well, she said that herself. And then you said, then you came over and you was walking the room and she says, oh my God, somebody can keep up talking with Lenore. <laughs> <laughs> But you so can see, you can talk and so yeah, and talk, talk so, and yeah. I get things and I get things. <laughs> Lenore yeah. didn't know that back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I can, she done good so for a coordinator. So I came with thirty preset <laughs> blocks. I'm making a quilt for my brother, and I would have had them all done, but I had to rip out every other one. So I only got oh fifteen gosh. done. So I'll do fifteen at home. Oh and I didn't even have lines, so I think that I should have just. <laughs> Very nice. So it's got pheasants and it's got deer. Wow. All the fussy, the specialty fabrics. Frogs. Oh, no wow. turtles. Didn't have wine this morning either. <laughs> Fish. Minnesota fabric. Minnesota fabric with the loon. Minnesota fabric with all the names of the lakes except the one we live by. <laughs> So, one day my brother is going to get a quilt, but it's not this weekend. Is that the Jacob's Ladder block? <laughs> it is the Jacob's Ladder okay. block, which is a very easy block. Mm, it's nice. This weekend. They just couldn't do. Work. So, three of them went back to look at them and swore underneath my breath, or if you heard it, you sat next to me. <laughs> what you need your doll for? Huh? Your doll. Yeah. We didn't have them yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have been throwing it. But Tijuana said one time instead of using thread catchers in between, so all the little squares, I got a whole bunch of little blocks mm -hmm. that's going to be Minnesota fabric for not rich because he's not from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Some years. <laughs> Actually, it could be. Wow, that's beautiful too. I like that. This I must be liking really all well the seed ones. The borders, and I'm fair fighting me tooth and nail, and a hole. So I have to figure out how to fix that. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. <laughs> Very nice. Vicky don't like to be videotaped, but I, she should just do a whole segment on my YouTube channel. Just let her just go. <laughs> she has such interesting stories. Reporting for duty. Good morning, Mrs. Bonds. She's she's exactly on the X. I'm Cindy Bonds, and I did put together the uh, log cabin quilt this weekend. I did that mainly all day Friday. Um, so I got that out of a book of prairie quilts. 
Um, I started this project at home and almost did it entirely. Um, it's not dimensional like Grace said, but I only had one piece of fabric at home that was already quilted, and so I used it, and then I wanted to pull wood at, wool applique on the pockets, which are gigantic. And so I'm gonna close it up with um, this cute little ribbon and some vintage buttons like that. So I can put this on the top of anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Very nice. that's my little project. Mm -hmm. And it, it, Sandy Etheridge taught a class years ago for an ironing mat, and so this is what was left over, so it's crinkly because it's got that stuff in it. <laughs> um, it can be um, a um, Saturday project, um, and so I'm almost done with it. I'm on the last border now, and it's like a little picnic quilt. This one's wow. going to be. So that I still have the sides to do. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So that was our project for Saturday, and I think Cynthia started, was also the teacher. I think it was a cute little project, and a lot of people got pretty far with it. It wasn't complicated. So anyway, thank you. Beautiful. Very much. My name is Diane. Uh, one of the things I brought uh, is a, a new block of the month that's starting at Patchwork Plus. So country heritage red crinoline quilts and I have the first two months and I got those blocks. Beautiful. Ooh. Those. Wow. And then the you make two blocks and then they it's like, you know, two different colorways. Okay. Very nice. Oh, Very nice, beautiful work. So I'm actually ahead of this one. So. <laughs> and then I have another one that I'm working on uh, called Patchwork Posey, and um, I'm trying to get caught up on that. And here's three of the blocks that I did. I got one over there that's not together yet. So. Very nice. And then these are, I got all my blocks done for the Saturday project, and this is the blocks, which I'll get them together at home. So. Thank you, Sharon. These are my blocks for the project we did yesterday. I can't get down on the floor, so I have to do it my phone. Okay. And I was working on our block of the month for Flower Valley, and this is April's. Very nice. What about the rest of these? It's in pieces. Huh? Do you have the stuff in pieces? I don't do any. I just... Jane, Jane cut a bunch of things for a project that I have going, which is Valley Wedding Ring. Okay. And I don't have time to start on that because I was trying to do some other... Are you going to show that one? Well, it's not done. I know. Okay. Anyway. I knew she was holding out on us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very nice. Wow. Beautiful. To get done on it. That is great. Young lady, I saw you roll with your eyes at me when I said pick that up. Oh, I love that fabric. My name is Rita Adolph, and I used your strap one, yeah. I started, I got this cut out. My sister and I got this cut out in Georgia before we came up, and we just wow. put it together. Beautiful. It is called Turning 20, so of course they're big blocks. I got that fabric in the middle, but I didn't know that that was... Tim, Tim Holtz. Holtz fabric. Um, I got a lot of it. I was yes. going to put it on the back of a postal it's like that material. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was going to make it for a post office, the postman in my area, and then yeah. they switched them. Cool. That's a great cool. And then nice. I bought this in tiny stitches in mm -hmm. Atlanta. It's just a little. Uh, mm -hmm. You get a good one. Uh, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. very nice. Um, so, Rita, where's the scraps you're going to throw away? <laughs> I like those. It's like <laughs> that is cool. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to find that fabric, but I didn't even know Jack Tim Holtz made fabric. Some. Okay. Thank you. Jacqueline still has some of this. Okay. A few of the. And there's a sale on Monday. Yeah. Uh-oh, Jennifer, you got to crack the hammer if she doesn't get on that X. See, look, on my spot, X marks the spot. Okay, so, uh, you know, I just moved, so I got a hellacious mess, so I decided I'm working on some panel quilts this weekend because I wanted to get some uh, Great, guys, stuff panel out of the quilts way. coming up. So, Beautiful uh, work. This is my first one. I love that one with the split body. <laughs> Did you do that? Are they was well, they it? told you to do it. Okay, yeah. but it is so beautiful. It's, it's I love funny. it. Cindy, Cindy likes uh, the witch. Mm -hmm. uh, she is cute the, too. Not, I personally think this. Looking to the side. Is a creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, nice. So then, uh, so that that's what I did Friday night, and then last night I did uh, yesterday. I did my Saturday project. So there's my Saturday project. Wow, that's beautiful too. Mm -hmm. And very close to your other yeah, color. Yeah, it's very close to the other colorway, but it's B fabric. Okay, mm -hmm. so then yesterday I also did this panel quilt. Wow. Yeah, my if you don't know me, my favorite's Halloween. So, and it's the same skeleton again. It's the same wow. fabric line. It's at J uh, Wecker Frisch. I love her stuff. And I do a lot of her did stuff. Did you get this at Jackman's? No, I did not. I okay. ordered all of this stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. That is this wow. stuff came out uh, right before I moved, so it was packed, and it was kind of something all together in a box that I could find. It's beautiful. I love that panel. So, and then, uh, so I did both of those yesterday, and today I'm working on these table runners. So I'm about halfway done. These two pieces uh, will be connected together. Wait, it goes this way. No, it goes this way. So they'll be connected together. So it's made out of fat quarters, and you use four fat quarters, and you get actually two sets. So this is one table mat, and then there's another one back there. So okay. there you go. Will I hold everybody go pee pee before we close the door? <laughs> this is a little project. It's called a zipper quilt. And it's We've just made with a charm pack and a yard of fabric. It was a Missouri Star little deal of the day. Just need some order. We made that at retreat, so my, the tea quills two years ago. And I did the Saturday project. I didn't use a jelly roll. I just used some uh, two and a half inch strips I had just kind of sitting around. Mm -hmm. That's I'm beautiful. Gonna a, I'm not going to do a piece for it. I'm just going to do a big board. And then mm -hmm. last year um, I made quilts for all of my kiddos for their birthdays. They had smaller quilts for their beds and they just needed a big oversized twin. Mm -hmm. And as I finished at retreat, I think I finished both of these tops at retreat last year. And they've been quilted this year for the birthday. <laughs> hmm. oh, Very nice. nice. It's it's a gift that keeps getting. That's nice. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Well, she, she called me once, is it done, is it done? <laughs> <laughs> so it is done. <laughs> yeah. And I thank you all who contributed to my batik little bits and pieces. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I make what I call garbage fabric from it. So I use a piece of water soluble stabilizer that I spray with um, an adhesive and um, then I sprinkle the bits over until it, it's completely covered. Um, and then I, a little more spray and another piece of water soluble stabilizer and I just quilt a grid on it and then I make sure there's no holes in it, and then I use it, it's kind of part of a new series that I'm doing with my art quilts, so thank you. Benji, Rita's sister. Thank you, dear. <laughs> That's how you introduce yourself. <laughs> and um, she has no name, she's just Rita. Everybody you know, knows Rita. <laughs> you know, anybody that knows us, we always make matching quilts. I'm Very nice. When you go to her house, it looks like my house. And <laughs> so we made matching quilts. Very nice. Quilts. I love that. So cute. Yeah. What's on your neck? Um, you know, who made Connie Barnett yeah. mm -hmm. made this. And she took um, that, or, uh, yarn and just tied it in knots. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Just every, uh, like just every, every so often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was fun, so I stole it from my sister. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, she don't know some of the stuff I bring home. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I go to her house and I'm like, I have one of those. <laughs> 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 that is funny. <laughs> she in front of the camera com com committing to theft. <laughs> so I'm Jane and um, these blocks came off of either the flea for all table or the free table, I can't remember. But Laura Halsey was the one that put them out there, and there were six blocks. Wow. And two of them were real small, and they've even been washed. Mm. You, I'm sorry. So they, were they an optional anyway. block or something? Or she, was, she made them, or they were an optional block? I don't know. I think that she inherited it from somebody else from through Free For All. Very something. nice. Anyway, so they even were washed. They're they're not greatly made, but they're they're just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I can't stand to see orphans, so <laughs> I bought it. Anyway, so what I, I did the was to make it, it all the same. Mm -hmm. I put the black border on them, and then I cut them all to 14 inches. Okay. So this was 12 inches, even a little bit smaller, and the other ones were all about 12 and a half. So that's what I did. Okay. Fabrics Very from nice. Boutiques Plus. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anyhow. And then Kathy keeps coming up in the basement. So I found these when I was, I'm, I'm getting a sewing, a real sewing room now. My husband's gave me a bedroom in the house. And so we've been switching stuff around, figuring out where to put toys and stuff. And these blocks popped up and so um, it was just this Beautiful. centerpiece was done, but this fabric was with it in these four blocks, so it's a quilt. Okay. Yeah. And I, I have back Might and have been Anita Shackelford's way of making pictures? square and a square because they're rounded corners. Um, Anywho, those were my first two finishes like 10 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> It's really nice to have an accomplished thing. These are the block of the month from wow, uh, last year's Quilted Fox. And um, beautiful. they weren't together when I came, so I love my it. third finish for Friday. <laughs> okay. So I really like that. And then I had it out earlier because there was a light fabric that they gave me in a kit to complete it. And then there was a creamy, this creamy. And I kept saying I hate the I hate it together. The light fabric is meant to be on the very outside border and as the background to a tulip border. And what was supposed to be right up against it was a dark green. And I even said to them, "Where's the dark green? I remember a dark green being right up against the maze." And they said, "No, it's it's all right. It's all right." Well, they never put the dark green fabric in my completer kit. So I found that out yesterday. Wow. That is beautiful. I love it. So it'll be fine. And I, I did buy it. And I'm doing it a little differently because I want to do some special quilting. I wasn't going to do this. And then I found it was um, to throw through the tulips in the Netherlands. And I'm from the Netherlands. So I was like, I guess I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually finished it. I actually have been hiring somebody to finish my quilts for me. So... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cindy did a great job. I, mm -hmm. did, I am changing up the borders. Uh, that five inch border, I'm splitting it, and then I'm putting my pieces, and then this is my outer border fabric. Mm, and I didn't gorgeous. want the pieces up against the fire, the dragonflies. So. Very nice. I have never finished this many things at a retreat. Usually I talk about Because you lot. work on that uh, you know, maple, yeah, that maple leaf quilt. Well, and right. the maple leaf, I have one more piano to do. And I, I didn't get my traditional picture of you. Did I miss it? Nope. I, ne I never she didn't went to sleep because I used to get it too. <laughs> you know what the trick is? It's not getting any sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just keep going once it. This is the one I wanted to finish. So Dottie Vaughn came and taught us at Cust 
cotton cuts in Chesterfield Mall taught us how to do curved strata piecing. And um, anyway, this is my star. Everybody else did four diamonds. I was still in my purple mode, so I did nine diamonds. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Anyway, is that a tablecloth? Wow. Um, that's a grid from. It's a pl Fons flannel. It's flannel. Because okay. mm -hmm. it's like, it's a flannel grid from Fonz and Porter. Okay, it's like I know that. Sharon gave usable. that to me. It's really come in handy. Very and nice. What's nice is it's soft. You yeah. said you got nine diamonds. What do you What do you mean? You mean nine different ones? Nine diamonds in each, each in each one. big diamond. I've oh. Got nine diamonds. And most people and did how many? Did four. four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice, so, beautiful. Anyway, Love the color. Don, Donnie had um, a star in the Modern Quilt Guild uh, show, and um, so I saw it and I just had to learn how to do it. And so my first ones are all down here, and I don't like them so much, but these are better. So I got better as I went along. And this is my this is my background. Even though I didn't finish it, I wanted to show it to you guys. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Hi, I'm Becky. This is what I got done this weekend. I got <laughs> wow. pieces done of my Saturday project. I'm going to make it a little bigger. So I got to get some more strips because I didn't get as many as I thought I was going to get. So. Um, it's going to be twin size when it's done. I got the background done. Uh, for my Enchanted Garden Block of the Month from Missouri Star, and this will have applique flowers on it. I got my Friday night mat almost done. I just got to sit on the binding. Ooh, love it, Becky. It's great. Matches your shirt. Yep. I've been in a purple phase a lot longer than Jane, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got two rows and a lot of blocks put together of my knee quilt. Very nice. Beautiful. I have two projects I can do in the box. That could have too much. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is supposed to be the center. However, I have to rip it out because I didn't do it right. Mm. So, yeah, it's an I was so busy looking at everybody's pretty stuff that I didn't sew it right, so it'll get ripped out a little bit. And then these are all my different to go in. <laughs> <laughs> so they will get done. <laughs> Maybe next month's um, meeting I'll have it all done. And I have I already got borders, so. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm Gail. Um, Another blue one. Saturday project. Mm -hmm. I was too. working from scraps that I had on hand. Wow. A friend donated to me uh, about 40 pounds. I know because I waited to get it onto a flight. <laughs> 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 of fabrics with lots of batiks. Wow. Lots of Asian friends. So I, I just use her fabric. Mm -hmm. And um, some of my people, I, I thought I had enough scraps and it turned out they didn't. So mine's one row smaller than everybody else's, which I'll make up for on the borders. It's pretty. It is beautiful. I love, I'm loving the blues. I'm curious to see this one. Yeah, well, yeah. she had a lot of Asian fabrics. Oh, this I, is from her stash? This, this is from her stash. And, you know, th this, I didn't use a third of the different patterns she had. I'm not talking yardage. I mean, I didn't use a third of the oh, number of fabrics she had. I love them. Um, it goes from light to dark. I had mm -hmm. such fun working on it because the colors are so beautiful. They are. That was my whole weekend. Should we do that? Start with the small stuff. Okay. This was the Friday project. Okay. Are you hiding? <laughs>
<laughs> this nightmare I've been working on, but I ran out of the border fabric. Wow. Mm -hmm. You dropped a piece of fabric there. Yeah, that's the square that she put it yeah, well, on when she gets the last order. Oh, oh, yeah. Woohoo! Darling. Put your hand on That is fantastic. And I ran Look out big of that this is. color fabric right here. What was it called? The Mardi Gras? Mm -hmm. And I only need four yeah, strips mm -hmm. to finish this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got to make another trip to Batiks Plus. It's for my grandson, and his wife is of Indian heritage, Native American Indian, and so I hope she'll like it. You know, so beautiful. You can, and you can take Lenore's socks and Jennifer's cover. <laughs> They're all Southwestern. Well, I got friends. She's <laughs> got it's beautiful it's and it's big. It's, it's a king size. Wow. Yeah, you'd think they could have a double bed, but no, they got a king size bed. <laughs> okay. okay. Then, because I ran out of uh, border stuff, I pulled this out of the archives that I was working on these. Long time ago, Lietta taught us how to do these on on um, telephone paper. You know, you make four of them and you put them together like this. And so I make all different color coordinated things. But they're all done Hold on them up your higher. This is part of the UFO section, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to have that. So when I, I, you know, lost it with the fabric there, I'm doing these. So I'll eventually get that done too. Yeah. I'm Judy, and um, I'm Judy. My Friday night project was to try to make some progress on one of the scrap quilts projects from last year, uh, the one that Sharon has done. Um, <laughs> and so I have all of my white squares and my strips. It's important. That's right. And I'm doing my, um, my half square triangles okay. and it, all different designs. And I'm doing the, the method where you make nine of them on one nine by nine mm. sheet of paper and or sheet of fabric and then you 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 draw you sew and you cut them all out so I have three more sets of those to finish and then I'll be ready to just <laughs> it out one way or the other um, and I it's pretty tedious but I was really glad to get that much done and then I did do the Saturday our Saturday project I need to stand in line with the rest of you ladies tomorrow somewhere at a quilt store, store um, starting with Jackman's to see if I can find my border fabrics for this guy. So guys, it is 12.05, it is the end of retreat. We actually got till two o'clock to clean out. I am actually packing up my area, just about got it all done. And I'm about to go get my car from the back parking lot so I can bring it up to load it up. So I will see you all in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share my channel with your other coaching friends. And don't forget to hit the bell notification also when you subscribe. See you next time. Bye, everybody.